Besides the filter gallery, Photoshop has a variety of other filters available in the filter menu. Two of which you should already be familiar with from the retouching lecture and demo are the blur and sharpen filters. The extended list of other filters available via the filter menu are adaptive wide angle, camera raw filter, lens correction, liquify, vanishing point, 3D, blur, blur gallery, distort, noise, pixelate, render, sharpen, stylize, video, and then there's an other category. This slide in the lecture has the list categorized between individual dialogue filters and filters with submenus. These are separated to show that some filters do specific things and have their own individual dialogue for the effect. The filters with submenus have more of a variety of choices depending on the filter or the effect. For instance, you're familiar with the blur filters, um, and if you go to the blur, uh, the blur in the menu, in the filter menu, you'll see it has a quite a few options like average, blur, blur more, box, blur, and a lot more than just that. Um, so those would be the blur submenus. Also, we need to mention that the render filter, um, the, those filters generate an all over effect to the image and the effect is independent of the image, meaning that the clouds render, filter render, will render clouds the same way for an image or layer as a that it's applied to. So it will look the same no matter what image you're using. Hmm, that's interesting to know.